Danke. Danke und willkommen in the Grosser Tour, which this week comes from Germany. Yeah. We're here. We're here. Specifically, specifically, we are in the city of Stuttgart, except we nearly weren't because one of your local green politicians tried to ban us from coming here. Now, I don't want to embarrass the poor man on television, so I've hidden his identity. Um, <laughs> Yeah. That's good. That's a and, um, I certainly don't want to tell you his name, which is um, Andreas Kassdorf. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not not a popular man, but you elected him. <laughs> anyway, he says that we'd be unwelcome here because this is a very bicycle friendly place. <laughs> it, it isn't, it's the home of Mercedes and Porsche. And Germany, exactly. <laughs> Germany, <laughs> Germany is the cradle of the automobile. The car was actually invented here. It's the last place on earth you can drive a car as fast as it will go on the motorway. <laughs> true. Well, true. This is a true fact. This is a true fact. The Germans are the only people on earth who really know how to make a car. This is... It's a true fact. That is true. I'll tell you a story. There was a Mercedes engineer and a Jaguar engineer having dinner one night. And the Mercedes engineer said, we have... Forgive the accent. <laughs> we have a quality test at the Mercedes factory. Every night we take a car off the line at random. We put a cat in it. <laughs> Close the doors. If when we come back in the morning, we know the door seals are working correctly, if the cat has suffocated. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, the Jaguar engineer said, yeah, we've got something very similar at our factory. We take a car off the line at random, we put a cat in it, we close the door, and we know the car's been built properly if when we come back in the morning, the cat hasn't escaped. <laughs> that is, um... True story. Yeah, true story. The strange thing is, it isn't just cars that are built well here, it's absolutely everything. Except wine. Yes, yeah, except, except wine. for wine. Sorry. Well, come oh, on. Oh, now, come really? on. You drink that Have... stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't wash my hair in it. <laughs> are you um, sure? No, it is literally everything, though. I mean, German soft toys, better than anybody else's soft toys. Cameras, um, kitchen appliances. The Queen of England, she's German. <laughs> She is. That's why she's still working, even though she's 140, 17 years old. <laughs> there is no word here for that'll do. There is no ambiguity at all in Germany. You certainly see this with films, OK? The names you have for American films. I've got some here. OK, you remember Airplane? Airplane, yeah. Airplane, yes. In Germany, it was called The Unbelievable Journey in a Crazy Airplane. <laughs> that is a comprehensive title, isn't it? You know where you are. With yeah. What was Jaws? The what? The Weiser? The White Shark. You know, it, sh it should have been the massive shark that explodes eventually. Would have come. <laughs> you know where you're going with that. What was um, what was Basic Instinct? <laughs> Just not a brief glimpse of Sharon Stone's <laughs> vagina. Yes, great. 